Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Yakuza 0. In the last episode we met the game's second protagonist, Goro Majima. And we found out that he is a basically a, a manager for the Cabaret Grand here at, in the town of Sotenbori. Uh, and so in this episode, we are going to basically explore this town for the first time. We're going to possibly do some sub stories if we run into them we're gonna eventually maybe this episode or in the next upcoming episodes we're going to the casino uh, but first things first we are going to the temple because that is the most important thing because uh, Goro Majima and uh, Kiryu do share CP so it, what I earn in CP with uh, Kiryu gets transferred over to Majima and what I earn on, with Majima gets transferred over to Kiryu so I have 52 CP right now to spend so let's go right here, uh, and not, no, I was going to try and avoid fighting these goons, but apparently we're going to fight some goons, and then we're going to go talk to old Bob, what's his face over here, who has the, the, the green wig on. Oh, that, oh, I'm going to like this fighting style. That was awesome, okay. Oh, I can do spin kicks and everything, okay. Okay, that was awesome, okay. No, 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 no. Stop putting me in a full Nelson. Who are you? Okay. And then just do that. Okay, I'm still trying to learn this fighting style. It's going to take me a minute. I'm. It's a It's a new thing I'm having to learn. Okay. Hey, Bob. What's your face? What's it What's it called? Uh, a, a Bob Utsunomiya. Uh, I will take the Sottenboro Fun Pack. Hen Henya Tattoo, Toughness Emperor, uh, Torner Plus Plus, uh, Stamina Royal, Gold Plate. Uh, okay, I don't really care about outfits at the moment. It's not like I can do anything with it anyway. Uh, the Mad Dog of Shimano Pack, or Sh Shimano. Sh yeah, so the Mad Dog of Sh Shimano, Sh Sh Shimano. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing it one way or the other. Uh, you got a Slime Gun, okay. You got a steel cr uh, crowbar, you got a hawker's belly warmer, stone of enduring. Okay, let's see what else. Can I also get the crafting support pack? Uh, 24 hour prints, you got 100 pieces of iron, you got 100 pieces of timber, you got 50 pieces of quality iron, you got 5 scraps of bloody cloth, you got 3 demon face stones, you got a super spicy knife. And an antique gun and a sacrifice stone. Okay, great. And then I also would like to get the Sodenbori Fun Pack 2. You got the N 3B Parka outfit. You got the frozen, or sorry, you got frozen sardines. Are those nunchucks? They look like nunchucks. Uh, you got a Toughness Emperor. You got a Torner Plus Plus. You got a Stamina. It's technically Stamina Royale, but we're calling them Stamina Royale. So you got a Stamina Royal. You got a Platinum Plate. Uh, okay, fantastic. And then I believe there's probably one or two more packs. How many is it? It's just one. I will take the super rare crafting pack. I got a new higher outfit. You got the gold ingot. You got a silver ingot. You got a dragon tear. You got a dragon whisker. An L photon blade prototype. So, oh, it's a double edged lightsaber. Okay. Uh, and a diamond plate. Okay, fantastic. And then we're going to go here to the CP exchange. And we are going to gotta go fast level one. We'll get the card watcher accessory. We'll get a faster running speed, disposable income, even run faster, more disposable income. The most important one, which is bottomless stomach, is I'm going to be going around eating at all these restaurants to get CP. Uh, be able to run faster, that one. And then uh, now Machima can also dash uh, permanently. So that's great. And then I only have three CP, so that's not enough to get anything else. So, uh, those were the upgrades I took. Uh, let us. I'm gonna go over to the pawn shop. You're not gonna see this because I, I already did this with Kiryu. you. I'm gonna go over. Where's the pawn shop at? It's right here. I'm gonna go to the pawn shop. I'm gonna sell off these plates, and then uh, when I run into something to do in uh, the, this town, we'll. Uh, I'll cut back. So I'll guys. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, we sold some stuff here at the uh, pawn shop, but we can now go to. Not that button, the abilities button, and we can get some more health for Majima. 
And we can go and get even more health for Majima. I, we could theoretically get this one for Majima as well. But let's hold off a little bit. Let's get an uh, increase of power on regular attack and heat actions. And this, uh, your heat gauge will slowly rise over time when you are wounded. However, it will only fill up to the second bar. And then we can also get uh, increase the amount of heat gauge rise when you're attacking an enemy. Uh, we can get a rolling kick run at the enemy and unleash a spinning kick with an incredible force. So I need to press triangle while running. And then uh, charge body blow. Deliver a body blow after charging up its power. So hold triangle. So this is what we're spending it on. Uh, and I'm going to keep 66 million just, just for like things to buy in case I need it. Um, so I just wanted to show those, those upgrades I'm getting for, for Majima and his fighting style. And again, I will... Um, how do I want to start exploring? Let us... How about this? Let's go to the casino. First things first, we got money, we're going to the casino. I said I was doing it last episode, screw it, we're doing this episode. I want to see what they have at the casino. It's not here, where's it at? It's here, okay. Uh, I... The only thing I know about roulette is bet on black. Uh, it's 21. Okay, I might play 21. I might play blackjack. Uh, welcome to our casino, sir. Will you need chips to play our games to exchange money for chips? Please speak to dealer at any table. Any remaining chips are exchanged back to cash when you decide to leave the game table. I wish you the best of luck. Okay. And then, uh, what are you? Uh, welcome. Oh, poker. Yeah, oh, yeah okay. Uh, Texas, pineapple, Omaha. Uh, I know how to play. We're going to play Texas. Hold on. Is it limit or is it no limit? Uh, what stakes would you like to play? Oh, we're playing ultra high stakes, baby. Um, yep. Okay. Exit chips and yep. Okay. I know how to play this. The one thing I know how to do is I know how to play poker, man. Okay. Uh, welcome to the poker table. Let's begin. Uh, 510 suited. I'm in the big blind. Uh, I'm going to fold. That's not a good hand. Even though we're playing four handed. Uh, so I have a pair. Of, I would have had a pair of fives. Uh, but I'd lose to any ace now. I lose to any eight now. Oh, the controller disconnected. We're only going to do this for a little bit. I will not subject you guys to a whole lot of, of poker, but I, I just get... Yeah, we're going to keep playing. I, 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 let's see how this. King Jack off in the small... A call from under the gun and a raise. King Jack. I think that's probably a call. Again, uh, so King Queen. So, okay, I lose to any King Queen combo. Uh, there's a flush draw on the deck if there's someone's holding a club, but I, hold, I have the Jack of a Club blocker. Um,. To me, that's a, okay. So this is this is not okay. So it is it, it is limit technically. Okay, so two calls. I'm now losing to any two combinations of of clubs, but I do have the blocker. Um, we'll bet. Okay, interesting. So either I'm already dead lost or. Okay, now I have King Jack a combo. I'm losing to any King Queen combo. I'm any, I'm losing to pocket. Okay, I'm losing to pocket kings, even though I have the the other king. I'm losing to pocket queens. I'm losing to King King, king Queen uh, combo, and I'm losing to any uh, two clubs. But I do have two pair, and I don't know if I can sit down to I'm gonna bet I don't think I can sit on two pair he's I'm getting raised um I think that's just a flat for me what do you have nine oh he had a oh he had a no oh, there's also the straight they got there I completely forgot okay uh, yeah we'll keep playing we're gonna play until I win a hand and after that we'll we'll end uh three five off we're gonna fold okay we got pocket twos uh we're gonna raise We're gonna raise again. If you're gonna if you're gonna play a small pocket pair like uh, pocket deuces, you're gonna 
We're gonna continue to raise. Okay, a call. Come on, let's spike it to all. But that is low. We're losing to aces. We're losing to we're losing to aces. We're losing to kings. He could he could be doing this with ace king, whether it be suited or off. But um. I'm going to raise. I, I still feel somewhat decent about my hand. Oh, he's raising you. Okay, well. Oh, we hold it. Okay, fantastic. And we actually are going to leave with more chips than we uh, started with. So uh, that was that was our big hand, was pocket deuces. Um, how much did we make off that? We made uh, 375,000 yen. Okay, fantastic. And then... You know what? We're, we'll play one of, of each, except uh, that one that I have absolutely no idea how to play whatsoever. Because I, I don't want to have to spend time learning it. Uh, and then, because uh, we, you know, are gutsy, we're going to, of course, play the high stakes and put everything in it. Uh, so, 21, or blackjack. Okay. Uh, let's begin. Uh, bet. What is the what is the maximum I, I'm allowed to bet? It's a thousand. Okay, I'll bet a thousand. Uh, nine. Uh, that's uh, seventeen. Seventeen is a good. What do I like to do? Uh I mean, we have to stand. There's no. You can't you can't hit on a seventeen. The dealer's turn. A nine. Okay. Uh, what is that? 14. And then... Oh. Okay. okay. We're going to play until we win a hand. Same thing. Betting a thousand. Same exact deal. Oh, he has an ace. So that's... A, what is that? A 1 or 11? Uh, we have 18. Uh, set half the bet amount as insurance against the dealer getting a blackjack. Mm. I have okay. Here's the thing. I don't know what this means. So sure, well, why why not? Uh, it wasn't blackjack. Let's continue with the game. Okay. Oh well. Uh, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, uh, I have to stand at an eighteen. So thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. How many aces? Okay. Uh, seventeen. Come on. Oh, we win. Okay. Okay, we won. That's that, that was my thing. We're going to play until we win a hand. So we, we did blackjack. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to do one thing of roulette. We're going to bet on black. Because that's the only thing I know about. We lost 50,000 yen. whoop de do. Uh, the only thing I know about uh, roulette is, is you bet on black. And then uh, we're going to see if we win. Yes, I would I would love to play roulette. I've never played it in my life. Don't know how to play it. The only thing I know is 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 poker. So... And then we're going to exit and proceed. Okay. I uh, welcome to the roulette table. Okay. Okay. Okay, and we're going to put ev all we can 10,000 chips on black. Because you always bet on black. The pit. Okay, it's a two to one payout though on on black or red, and then how much longer until? Okay, here we go. Come on, black. Come on, black. I will not say if, if we don't get this, I will not. Oh. Okay. Well, we lost ten thousand chips, which is what a hundred thousand yen or something like that. Million yen? I have no idea. Uh, no, we're not gonna continue doing doing uh, a roulette. We're not doing that until we win, because that could take a that could theoretically take a little bit of time. Yeah, it was a million yen. Oh well. Uh, so that was the casino. I'll probably do some others. I'll probably do some stuff in the casino off camera. I will not uh, show you guys that. But um, uh, again, I'm gonna make a cut here, and I will cut back when we find something to do here in in town. Uh, I was crossing the bridge, and this person has a text above their head. Ah, uh, that's Matsu, one of our bark, uh, barkers. He'd have the inside intel on the other clubs. Uh, my man, Matsu-san, business been good? Uh, a new week is a new wallet, Majin Mahan. You? 
Oh, doing fine, thanks to you. As uh, long as you keep the customers coming, I can't complain. Uh, sit on that humility shit and rotate. We both know the Grand's only shooting up because of you. What's it been, two years? The Grand's blasted off like a damn rocket ship since the day you turned up in Sutton. Uh, I've been some salesman in my time, but I ain't never seen one like you. What'd you do before this, Majimahan? Uh, no rearview mirrors on rocket ships, Matsu-san. Let me ask, uh, let me ask you a question instead. Yeah, what you got? Uh, I need the scoop on Odyssey. How are they doing lately? Odyssey? Uh, well... No, not good? No, they're, they're doing just fine, don't get me wrong. Only guys in town that keep play, uh, pace with you and the Grand. It's just... Just what? That, uh, less art, more matter, or some shit? Well, to tell you straight, it seems like they hit the ceiling. Been a while since they got any new blood. The regulars keep them afloat, of course, but that's a uh, red flag. The floor manager's uh, about to get canned, between you and me. Yama, Yamagatahan, the manager, is looking to shake things up. I heard there's all sorts of changes going down over there. Wow, pink slip in the floor manager before profits even start to dip? That's pretty bold. But I get the picture. Thanks for the tip, friend. So Odyssey's manager is starting to panic. Music to my ears. Okay. Uh, so again, I will make a cut, and when we find something to do in in town, I will uh, cut back. Uh, we uh, there's a cutscene that popped up as we're walking around town. Uh, buckle up, kid, because I'm taking you to see the finest ladies this town's got to offer. My treat. You you mean it? I uh, I always wanted to try Odyssey. I heard the chicks there are ridiculously hot. Yeah, I've been there once. Can't say it was my scene. R really? But it's super popular and all the magazines give it rave reviews, so why's that? Well, yeah, the girls are cute and the service there is top notch. It certainly lives up to the hype. So where'd they go wrong then? It's the clientele. All the other guys there were these big shot businessmen and A-listers, old men who could light their uh, cigs and with a wad of bills if they wanted, and the girls pick up the scent of cash like sharks. A couple of nobodies like us go in there, and we'll be drowning in our sorrows as we get passed right up. Aw, that really how it is there? Too rich for my blood. How about the Grand, then? That place that place any easier for fresh meat like me? Aw, oh, the Grand's great. Fantastic, actually. That's where I that's where I was gonna, gonna suggest anyway. Let's head out. So Odyssey is a class act but it's making everyone but the rich and wrinkled steer clear. If they don't get some new blood, they'll be screwed sooner or later. Okay, and again, I'll make a cut when we find something else uh, to do here in, in town. Okay, we're back here at the temple, and we're going to get a few more upgrades, because I went around and ate at all the restaurants here in, in, in town, so I now have 18 uh, CP. So we'll get uh, gather more money from enemies uh, and treasure hunter boost for the time being. And then eventually we're going to go down, and the other ones on this are Weapons Repairs cost half the original price, gather more money from enemies, uh, get the Ebisu Socks Accessory, better value your money uh, for your money when giving agents extra funds, gather more money, uh, Golden Shotgun enables upgrades to a certain battle style beyond its limits, and then the God, uh, God of War get the War God Talisman Accessory. And then business comes in, I believe, Chapter 7 for Majima. Uh, so again, I'm going to make a cut here, and I will cut back when we find something to do here in town. Uh, this this popped up. A college host is hopeful. Um, sorry, but are you um, Majima's son from the Grand? Huh? Uh, yeah. Why? Oh my God. Uh, I've been your uh, I've been your fan since forever. Please, you you gotta let me work there. Oh, you're looking to come to uh, to work at the for a cabaret? I don't have any hostess experience, but I always swear if I could make it happen, it would be for the Grand. And why is that? There's plenty of other famous spots in town, like Odyssey, for one. Sure, but you should hear the girls talk. The Grand is kind of a big deal. If you're working in Sotenbori, uh, that's the only place that'll give you street cred. Oh yeah? What's so different about us? Well, Odyssey's super strict in their hiring, and I hear their floor show practice is like boot camp. Mess up and you get yelled at in front of all the other girls. Sounds like a recipe for a nervous breakdown. Girls are a club's most important asset. Gotta take care of the goods, you know. It's not so bad if you've got the experience to do your job perfectly, but for girls just starting out, they say a fun club's better. Lots of girls have left it. You don't say. Seems harsh to expect pro skills from a college student getting a fresh start. 
Girls can quit any time they like. The whole trick's making them want to stay. Wow, you're just like the stories say, Majima-san. You actually listen to what a girl has to say, and you must really care. Now I really want to work at the Grand. Well, if you're serious, come on by with a resume. I'll be waiting there. Sounds like the Odyssey's not the friendliest work environment. They're doing fine now, but in a few years, that was that was a hot tip. Uh, that should be enough info to get me some leverage. Now to storm the gates and poach Nozo Nozo Nozomi from Odyssey. Uh, so, I've actually been around all of, of the town, and I've done everything. I've ate at all the restaurants. There's no sub-stories that looks like available at the moment, but we'll, we'll see when they become available. So we're going to go ahead and head over to Odyssey. Okay, here we are at Odyssey, so let's go ahead and enter. Any minute now. Odyssey. Uh, this is the place. Ready to make the magic happen, Majima? Yep, let's head inside. Let's get to work. Can't just charge and blow my cover. How are you going to... Fake mustache, please. Fake mustache. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yes, party of one, please. すみません。ただいま満席でして、少々待っていただいても構いませんでしょうか。かまへん、待つ。ほんますみません。そしたらこちらでお待ちください。よろしければお飲み物もお持ちしますが。ああ、そんな行き着かんでええね。のんびり待
Um, ask about Takako. Ask about Odyssey. Ask about the hostesses here. Let's ask about Odyssey first. Awful busy in here. Okay, they're asking. Okay, I will have to do this. まあ、年末っていうこともありますけど、最近はみんな強制で同伴させられてるから、その分お客さんが多いんとちゃいます？Oh really? Hmm. What in the world is that? What in the world? Oh my God! What is that guy doing? Easy. Wow. That's strict. Looks like they're getting really desperate to beat the Grand here. Problem is, they run out of steam. I'll bet they'd kill for some fresh clients. Okay, what's my plan of attack here? What do I ask to get info? Oh, now let's ask about the hostesses here. A hundred girls? Wow. ほんなら知らん子も多いんやろな。せやな。週に一度しか来んことかもおるし、同じ席について初めて話したっちゅうケースも初中です。やめる。なんでうちは上下関係めっちゃ厳しいですし、ちょっとでも人気出そうな子が入るとすぐ上がつぶしにかかるんですわ。競争が激しいっちゅうことか。せやけど、そない中でも人気あるこっちゅんは、
お目当ては望みやなさすがはうちとためはる店の支配人や話が早くて助かるわあんたの方は随分と回りくどいやないかこそこそ忍び込んで敵情視察それがあんたのやり方かそないなことせんでも望みに会いたきゃ呼びますせ説得でも交渉でもしたらえそないなことしてもトップのあんたがうんと言わなことは動かん俺が説得しに来たんは望みやのうてあんたや山形さん私をあんた今のオデッセイに危機感を覚えててどうにか変えようと焦っとるらしいじゃないかほう How are you gonna talk this guy out of his top hostess, Majima? I saw this place. This is true. I saw this place. 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 この店のホステスはどれもおっさんが好きそうなタイプの女ばかり若い男に受ける子が絶対的に不足しとるさらに言えば今いる客層も決してよくはない金持ちのおっさんばかりのせいで高級なイメージがつきすぎてるんやたまに若い客が来ても店の雰囲気になじめずなかなか常連にはなってくれへんのとちゃうか That is true, that is true. That's we heard those two guys talking about that. Madar Jitaima Odessa, Shinkokna on Nabuzogia. Story them walk no singing a hoshi Chauka Conkyo Arunia Rona Orega Missini Haitadogi Mansekit Chugodo de Iriguchi de Chita Bakari Matasarita. Say again. 中に入ったら空席が目についた。これは客全部を相手にできるほどのホステスが出勤してないっちゅうことやろ。その証拠に男三人に女二人っちゅうテーブルがあった。普通はマンツーマンが基本。場合によってはクレームが来てもおかしない。<笑>よう見てはるな。店内の教育もごっつう厳しいらしいじゃないか。ホステスのレベルを高く保てている反面バイト気分の女の子はすぐ辞めてしまう人数は確保したいがそうは言ってもホステスの品質を下げるわけにもいかん悩ましいところやな確かに今そういう悩みがあるのは事実ですわま賢いあんたのことやそんだけ言えば俺の腹は伝わったやろ Okay, what exactly are we offering? Because I, I don't see the exact benefit of us taking her off of his hands. Okay, that is true. That is absolutely true. うちの4番に対してあんたは何差し出すつもりやまずは手付けとして1000万明日にでもうちの門に届けさせてもらうわ。OK、that's a start。それだけやない。今うちで教育しとる新人。若い客層を狙って育てとった連中や。いわば将来の一番バッター中とこが。そいつらから好きなの何人でも持っていけ。マジマハン。あんたが目つけたひぞっこをこっちによこすとああそうこうしそろった将来間違いなしの連中やでええんですか敵に死を送るようなもんですこっちは当面の売り上げが欲しいその代わりあんたんとこには将来の売り上げを保証する That is also true. 別にそっちだけが得をする話でもないでなるほどな顔に似合わず敵作らんとうまいことやる方法を知っとるらしい。これがマジマゴロウのやり方っちゅうわけか
交渉成立ってことでいいなええー、でしょうただあんたんとことうちはライバルや今日みたいなのはこれ限りにしてもらいましょうがこれからはうちも全力で勝ちに行かせてもらいますわクリスタルクリアクモはええな<笑>好きにぜやさてっとええー、酒飲ませてもろうたおがんじょう頼むわ<笑>勉強させてもらいましたからね Oh, that's very kind of you. I appreciate that. Sora g o i s o s a h o n a h o n t o the car? Ah, Nantoka Hikinik Segoya. Hikimo, Hikimo, do you have the Hona? Ma, you know, you're on there. のぞみのシフトとか詳しいことは明日話すわわかりましたお疲れ様です It's been a hell of a day time to get some grub and pass the hell out Maybe I'll hit up Sonbori Street tonight Okay uh, Again, I'm gonna make a cut here and I'm gonna run around town see if there's any sub stories to do If not, then we'll, we'll head home But、uh, yeah, so I'll make a cut here and、uh, We'll、cut back when something interesting happens. Okay, I've been walking around town. I don't see anything, so we're gonna go here. You think this is a joke, pal? Huh? What's that guy on about? Sounded pretty pissed. There's a fight going on down there? Oh my god, that guy got a huge sword. What kind of ass clown goes on a raid with a big old honking sword like this, you moron? Don't you got any daggers or guns? You know, normal weapons? You can't see the appeal of a Chinese broadsword? This is why I was hesitant to sell to you. You're making this about me? Awful cocky for a two bit black market front. What whole point of business is giving your clients what they want? Sounds like an arms deal. This ain't something I want to get involved with. I deal only with clients I respect. If you would prove that you are worthy of my weapons, undergo my test. Test? The hell you want about now? You and I will spar. Defeat me, and you pass. I'm getting real tired of your high and mighty talk. Fine. You want to fight? I'll take you. See how you like your precious can opener when I'm using it on you. Indeed, that's the point. This is a test of your proficiency with a weapon. Ha! I ain't gonna feel sorry when you lose an arm or if I straight up end you. This is a new fighting. This looks like a new fighting style. Oh my god, you're getting beat by a guy with a, just a stick. Oh god. Batter up. Oh my god, dude. Oh yeah, we did learn a new fighting style. The hell are those moves with that stick? That's no martial art I've ever seen, but he's got the other dude's sword looking like a damn chopstick. So, son of a bitch. You fail. Yeah, well, what do you expect? Give me a shit sword like this. The staff you got's way better weapon. This is merely a piece of lumber. The sword you hold, on the other hand, is masterwork I painstakingly crafted. What? What? But apparently you were unfit to wield it. I would ask that you do not return to my shop again. What the hell with your damn shop? Hope it burns with you in it. Rumors said you were the dealer to beat, so I went to the brother of a track、uh, so I went to the bother of tracking you down, and for what, you fraud? Shit. I've just been staring. Don't want to get dragged into anyone somebody else's dirty deal. I'm, I'm out of here. Oh, it's this guy again. Ah, Machima, curious meeting you here. Oh, it's,、uh, it's you. Don't smoke me like that, Gramps. I was merely wandering about in search of a place where the two of us could spar uninterrupted. 
That's so? Well, the Riverside's occupied at the moment. A real nasty customer at that. His name is Fei Hu, a local arms dealer. Uh, quite the master himself, too, so long as a weapon rests within his hands. Huh? What? You, you know that guy? I knew his father for ages back when he walked this earth. Checking in on him was half my reason for coming to Sotenbori. As long as we both... Uh, sorry. As long as we are all here, why don't I introduce you? Hey, I, I didn't ask for any favors. Oh, don't be so stubborn. This will be good for the both of you. How do you figure? Besides, the time to sneak off is long past. It seems Fei Hu has already been aware of your presence from the start. What? Apologies, Kameki-san, but I do not trust this man. He has an air of danger about him. Now don't you go being stubborn on me, too. Delay no longer and put him to the test. I can tell you already, this young man will most certainly pass. S stay what? Why the hell do I gotta take a test? I got no business with this guy's shop. Come, come, Majima. I saw that look in your face as you bore witness to their fight. A look of inspiration. And now your silence speaks volumes of truth. That curiosity of yours is one of the keenest tools in your armory. Nothing fancy enough to call inspiration, just a few dumb thoughts rattling around. Yeah, but what if they were enough to match Fei Hu's skill? They would be less dumb, stray thoughts and more akin to a full-blown revelation. Whether you give that revelation life or snuff it out is your choice. Care to at least give it a try? Fe Listen, I've had a long-ass day, and I'm tired as a dog. Let's make this quick. I assume you have no objection, Fehu. If you recommend him so strongly, very well. It is settled, then. Now, what'll it be? The man is an arms dealer. He can procure you for, uh, He can procure you for most anything you might want. Hmm. Now, I'm good with uh, that beat-up old bat over there. Uh, baseball bat? This should be quite an entertaining match. Steady now. Begin. Uh, switch to sluggish side. Uh, you can switch to sluggish side by placing, pressing right. Uh, try changing. Okay. Uh, try mastering the strong defensive potential that a bat offers. When you guard using a weapon, you are less likely to be staggered by an attack. Using a use a bat to protect yourself against fate, who's vicious assault. Okay, uh, use the slugger style to defeat Fei Hu and pass the test. Oh my god, this is brutal. I certainly did not expect you to use a bat so well. You're quite the interesting fellow. Just remember using one back when I was running raids on the competition. I think I've improved since then, though. Surprised me, too. I knew you could fight, but I did not think a spur-of-the-moment selection like that would get you uh, far against Fei Hu. Shows what I know. So, uh, Fei Hu, right? What do you think of my bat work? You passed with flying colors, of course. You are precisely the sort of person my business exists to serve. Your weapon shop, you mean? That's uh, nice of you to offer, but as you've seen, I ain't real interested in the conventional stuff. Heh. <laughs> so much the better. I'm not a common dealer pawning off weapons I've scavenged. Well, that's cryptic. What do you mean? Are you free at the moment? My shop is quite close. I could enjoy the chance to escort you there and explain exactly what it is we do. This is our shop, the Dragon and Tiger. Outwardly, a Chinese restaurant operated by myself and my wife. Yeah. This is my wife, Long Hao. Uh, new customer, yes. Uh, many happy returns. And you said it wasn't your average weapon store. What is it exactly is it then? Most of the products we sell here are meticulously hand-forged by me. Bespoke arms, you might call them. Made to order, huh? So ain't an arms... So you ain't an arms trader, you're a smith, is that what you're saying? Precisely. Now, if I may, I would like to explain how it is I go about making weapons. 
At the Dragon and Tiger, you can enlist a host of agents to locate weapons, gear, and other equipment. They can be hired to hunt down the following three categories. Gear, recipes, and parts. Put the agent's skill to use and gather the world's most powerful weapons and equipment at your fingertips. So you send these agents around the globe looking for rare materials and such. That is pretty different. Our goal all, in all this is to develop, develop a robust network with arms dealers the world over. But some agents' work takes them far from civilization. So basically you get these guys searching for treasure out in the jungle and shit. I'm, I'm all about that actually. Indeed, remote archaeological sites uh, produce some of the most beautifully wrought and historically important weaponry. My shop is always on the lookout for such gems. Furthermore, customers, who contribu customers whose contributions pass a certain level are given a special reward, private arms lessons. Yeah, so I'm guessing that means you were holding back when we fought out there? Oh, naturally. That was only a test. <laughs> you're, uh, you're one slippery eel. Ah, uh, speaking of fish, I just remembered I... I ain't ate yet. Well, I mean, yeah, you have. We did go around to every restaurant in town and just eat every bit of food there was. But we'll, we'll completely forget about that. That was not canon, apparently. Um, I'm half starved to death here. You said this place is a Chinese spot by day, yeah? Uh, give me the house special, would you? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, you, custom, uh, you customer for that side of business, too? You wait. I fix you a feast. Majima, there's a favor I would ask of you. What now? I don't need to tell you not to spread word of their business, but I'd also ask you to keep vigil over them. Why, why is that? The happy couple in some kind of trouble? I cannot share the details now, but in time their shop may draw the ire of a terrible foe. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing to worry yourself over just yet. I ask only that you drop by when you think of it. Perhaps buy something. Send them out on a search. That sort of thing. Uh... Yeah, I'll... all right. I'm headed into the wilderness to train. Don't go letting the ed that edge of yours dull, either. Okay. Uh, truth is, I have no idea how long I've been recording, because uh, there's been so much dead air and cuts and stuff like this while we went and, and ate at all the restaurants. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably do one sub story and that's going to be an episode. Uh, and if this is a short episode, it's a short episode. I have, again, I have, I have no idea how long this episode is as of right now. So, um, let's start, I guess, going over here and you know what? I will make a cut when we find a sub story to do. Uh, as, as I was literally walking, this popped up of the doll girl. Hmm, what's that girl doing by, her, by herself? She lost? Uh, hey kiddo, where's your mom? Are you lost? Uh, no, I, I'm not. No, then what you standing around here for, all, uh, around for all by yourself then, huh? No, no reason. What's with this kid? She doing it right, uh, right? Not talking to strangers, but it's dangerous here. Better send her packing. Listen. Uh, why don't you hightail it back to your mom instead of loafing around here? This ain't no place for kids. Okay. Off with you then, you little scamp. Kind of looks like she had something to say. Still, she ain't lost and ought to make it home, okay? Just hope there's no trouble makers lurking about. Hmm. Check it out. A little kid, all by her lonesome. Eh, she ain't old enough to hustle. Keep your eyes peeled, would ya? No fool. Grab the kid, shake down the parents. Easy come, easy go. Pretty smart. Could be some nice cash in that. Let's do it. Oh, Majima, go beat him with a baseball bat. Ah, oh, here we go. Hey, got something real nice for you, little girl. Come on, come over here. I, I don't wanna... Little fucking brat. You're coming one way or the other. No, leave me alone. See, what I tell you? Oh, no, wrong person. See, what I tell you? Who the hell are you? Her old man? Nobody special, just looking out for a stranger. Stranger? Then mind your own business. Don't go getting any ideas or we'll make sure you regret it. Oh, 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 oh you're gonna get beat to death with a baseball bat. 
Next time, you ought to take my advice and head straight home, kiddo. This is a dangerous town full of scumbags. Scumbags? Nobody calls me scum. Okay, here we... Oh, oh, you got a knife? That's okay. I'm gonna do what your friend does, and I'm gonna pull out my baseball bat and just beat you to death with it, so... And just boom and batter up. Try and pull a knife on me. Where's this guy at? And then I will batter up you. Batter up. Here we go. And just cave your skull in. Look, we're 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 sorry. Give, give, give me a break. Yeah, you yeah, you run away. Good for nothing losers. Uh thanks, sir. Sir, I'm only twenty okay, so we know how the old this guy is. We have no idea how old uh Kiryu is. So he's twenty four. Okay. I'm only twenty four, you know. Anyway, as I was saying, why why don't you head on home? Okay. Something wrong? You and your mom fighting? No. Then, uh, what's up? The doll. Huh? The red chestnut, the squirrel. Chestnut, the squirrel? You mean that red squirrel prize in the UFO catcher? Yeah. You want that? Yeah. I'm sure your dad will buy you one if you ask nice. Oh, Majima, don't say that. You don't know what's the pair. You don't know what the home life is like. I don't have a dad. See, you don't say anything about moms or dads. You don't know what they, they child might not have a mom or a dad. They might be, you know, an orphan. You don't. Oh, sorry, scamp. It's it's okay. I'm I'm fine. Still, no point in hanging around here. You you can't get yourself, can you? Sorry, you can't get it, can't yourself, can you? It's it's okay. I I I don't need it, but it's so cute. I just like to look at it. Yeah. You're a, you're a strange kid. All right, uh, I gotta get going. Okay. You got to know the doll girl. Interacting with her will gradually fill the friendship gauge. You can check the status of this gauge at any time in the pause menu's completion list. Build your friendship with her to see what happens. A red chestnut, the squirrel doll, huh? Can't have her standing out here all day, so if I grab one, maybe I'll give it to her. Well, right, let's go get this squirrel. Okay, which one is it? It's... A red... Okay, it's this one. It's this one right here in the back. Insert coin. Let's see how long this takes us. I don't know if that's going to be good or not. Oh, it's... Maybe? 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 Oh, nope. Okay. That one was too close. The other one was the unfortunate thing. Okay, 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 come on, stay, 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 stay. We got it. I had to move to a different machine because this one's actually easier to get it in. Okay, fantastic. Hey, little girl, I got you your doll. Where's she at? Hi. Uh, what, you still staring at that chestnut squirrel doll? Huh? Oh, yeah, I am. I have one of those red chestnut squirrel dolls now. Maybe I ought to give it to her. Yeah, of course, give it to her, Majima. You hand it over the chestnut squirrel red. Wow, it's a red chestnut squirrel. It's adorable. Yeah, well, uh, it ain't exactly my thing, so why don't you keep it? Really? Thanks, sir. I never got a present from anyone besides my mom before. Best day ever. That's so? Well, uh, glad you like it. Uh, now, will you get get on home? Yeah, I'm gonna tell my mom all about it. Thanks, sir. Bye. Boy, little scamp's a handful. But it feels kind of nice to make her day like that. Uh, do you guys see in the background those people who are just w walking but going nowhere? 
Uh, that's uh, a really funny kind of glitch. Huh. It's that girl from the other day. Well, it, it from literally just a few minutes ago, because she's back. Uh, I hear uh, something chirping. Where's it at? Right there it is. Where's it at? It's on that side. There we go. Uh, you got a Kotomi Asakura Type A card. Fantastic. Okay, let's go back over to the little doll girl. Uh, you back, kiddo? I told you it's dangerous to hang around here alone. Hey, sir. Uh, how about you drop the sir thing, huh? Uh, now what's got you hanging around here now? What is it? Come on now, speak up, or somebody ask when somebody asks you a question. I'm looking at the blue chestnut squirrel doll. Oh boy, what? Now it's the blue one you got your eye on? Yeah, the blue chestnut is super cute too. If you say so. So you got your heart set on that now? No, you got me one the other day, and I'm happy to have it. I'm not greedy. I don't have a daddy. My mommy's at work all the time, and she says there's no money for frivolous things. So, I just wanted to come look at it. Well, you ought to head home soon. Don't you... Don't want your mom worrying about you, do you? I know, I just want to look at it a little longer. Then I'll go home. Every second you stick around this part of town, you risk too much, kiddo. Only way to keep her safe is to grab that blue squirrel when I get a chance. Now, let's go get the blue one. Again, I'm going to... to I'll cut to when we actually get the stupid squirrel, because I'm sure it's going to be just as much of a pain as it was uh, the uh, last time. So I'll make a cut. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay, stay, stay. Oh my god, I think I finally got it. Okay, finally. You guys want to hear something funny? In all of that, I forgot we were trying to get the blue one, and I actually got the the red one by accident for the the first time. So I actually had to go back and get the blue one again. Um, okay, little girl, here's your blue squirrel. What? You, you still staring at that chestnut squirrel doll? Huh? Uh, yeah, I am. I have one of those blue chestnuts. Yeah, well, give it to her, Majima. Look, here's the blue chestnut squirrel. Hand it over ch the chestnut squirrel blue. Wow, it's a blue chestnut squirrel. You take care of him. Squirrels ain't my thing. Really? I can't believe it. Everyone's going to be so jealous when I show them at school tomorrow. Jealous of that little thing? Yeah, the other kids always talk about their daddies buying them dolls, and they show them to each other. I got left out when that happens, but now I'll have something to talk about. I'm glad for you, scamp, but I ain't your daddy. Um... I wouldn't really know, but don't daddies buy things for kids? I suppose it depends, but that's a dad thing, yeah? I knew it. So if I did have a daddy, he'd be kind of like you, right? Huh? How you figure? Because you gave me two dolls. Uh, I, I did, but... See? And you look old enough to be a daddy, so you're just like a daddy to me. How old does this kid think I am? I wish you could be my real daddy, sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know I ain't think that ain't gonna happen, right? Well, can I just call you daddy then? No, no, you cannot. No, you can absolutely not call me daddy. No, mm -mm, no, mm -mm. Say what? Oh, you don't want me to? Yeah, I don't want you to. Uh, my choices are sir or daddy, huh? Ain't too fond of either. What's the right play here? Stick with sir. Let I'm not letting her use daddies. How about Majima-san? You gotta show respect to your elders. How about using my proper name, Majima-san? Majima-san? That's better. I made her cry, didn't I? Bad, no, I wouldn't hurt her feelings. What's this gotta be so damn hard? Uh, call me whatever you want. I don't care. Really? Yay. I like daddy best. Oh, dear God. We're, Kiryu's going to jail. I mean, this is not as bad as anything Kiryu's done. Like, you know, helping train a dominatrix in a park with children, but... Or being in a relationship, apparently, with an eight-year-old girl over pocket circuit racing. But, I mean, oh, God. I, I'm getting some mixed feelings here, kiddo. Uh, you best get back to your mom. Okay. Bye, Daddy. Oh, dear God, don't say that. You take care, uh, care on your way home. 
It's that little girl, standing all by herself again. What you got her eye on this time? Oh, uh, what is it now? Which one is it? Yeah. <laughs> Which one is it now? Ah! Uh, Daddy? No, stop calling me that. You scared me. <laughs> uh, you really got an eye for these dolls, don't you? It's just... The pink bunchins looks really pretty. Uh, pretty or not, didn't I tell you how dangerous this area can get? You're not looking for trouble, are you? No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Here we go again. A pink bunch and huh? I'll see if I can get her one. All right. Again, I'll make a cut when we actually get this stupid, stupid, stupid thing. What what the hell is a bunch in, by the way? Okay. Is it... Oh, is that bird? Okay. Well, I'll be back whenever we get it. Oh, please. Oh, please. It's been like 20 minutes trying to get this stupid damn bird. Oh, thank God. My God, let us never have to do that again. That was awful. Hey, kid, here's this world's most impossible toy. Yeah, just give her this stupid, stupid toy. I'm so angry it took us that long. That thing is so hard to get. Wow, a real pink bunchin. Thank you so much. Say, how come you like dolls so much? Oh, I'm just all alone when I'm home. Having my squirrels around feels like I have friends over. That's why dolls are the best. Yeah, that's 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 also extremely sad. And now Bunchin gets to join the family. Thanks for everything, Daddy. Don't call me Daddy. I'm gonna take such good care of him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, now, off you go. Back to your mom. Okay. Bye, bye. Maybe now the tea party's complete. No reason for her to hang around here anymore, I hope. Uh, but the friendship gauge uh, seems like she will be back, so... Oh, it's the little doll girl and she's crying. Huh? What the? It's that doll girl bawling her eyes out. What's the matter, scamp? Huh? Oh, I'm going to kill whoever heard that. That doll took me... 20 minutes of real, like, actual of my life trying to get. What is this? The, the doll I gave you got messed up? Who did this? I want, yeah, not only does Majima want names, I want names. My, my mom, my, my mom, my mom's gonna get killed. What, Nani? Uh, the scary men who come to take money showed up, but this time they took her away. And they did this to your doll, huh? Do you have any ideas where they took your mom? Down by the river, I think. All right, uh, come on, kiddo. We got a bust move. You got really nice shoes, by the way, Majima. Oh, you guys are so gonna get beat to death because you um, not only did you kidnap this girl's mother, which is awful, but you tore up her doll, which makes me irrationally angry. Uh, stop it! I already paid you back everything I borrowed. What are you talking about, you do uh, dozy cow? We lent you a million yen, remember? But, but, but I paid it all back by the due date. Are you really that dense? You ain't paid a drop of the interest yet. By my calculation, that's about 13 million yen left to pay, and we want it back now. 13 million? I could, I could never. Guess you leave us no choice then. If you're young enough, Stillers should earn us plenty of cash out on the street. And... N no. And I know plenty of sickos who'd pay the top dollar for that little kitty you got. Whoa, okay. What, what? You, you, you can't. Those are the terms of the deal. You work for us until every last yen is paid back. Got it? Your brat's gonna fetch a pretty price, too. Probably bring in more than you. Leave her alone. My, 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 my daughter, she, 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 she's the only family I have left. But please, uh, at least spare her, please. Hey, get her out of here. The kid will be out in the front of that arcade like usual. I'll go scoop her up. Gotcha. Oh, no, no need for that. Oh, you guys are going to be dead in about two seconds. And who are you? You ain't here to give us lip about the way we do business, are you? Oh, you got no idea. Huh? 
I don't give a flying shit about you or your business, but you can do whatever the hell you want. Uh, then you're smarter than you look. How about you leave the kid and scram then? Uh, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. See, there's two types of people in the world that really set me off. Huh? Dipshits who tear up dolls that I went through a lot of trouble to get a hold of, and fuckwits who prey on defenseless women because it makes them feel big. You fit both of the bills, asshole. What? You motherfucker. Tch. You gotta screw loose, you skinny runt, because you're begging to get your neck broke. Oh, shut your mouth and put up your fist so I can hurry up and beat the shit out of you. Oh, take out your bat, Majima, and just bash their skulls in. Ah, oh, this is gonna be no no problem whatsoever. And then just stomp them in the head, and then hopefully there'll be enough from you to get a batter's up. But we'll see. Hey, we will get enough. I'm gonna let you stand up, even, because I make sure I want to get batters up. Batters up. And it's a home run. Hey, I ain't done with you yet. I still gotta tear up you up as badly as you tore up that poor doll. Uh, have, have mercy. Oh, I I personally would not let him run away. I'd throw him in the river. Uh, uh come on. I, I was just getting to the fun part. Daddy. Hey, y'all right? Dad. Oh uh, yeah, listen, uh, I, trust me, I didn't want her calling me this. I, I tried to tell her not to. Yeah, this is the man who bought me all the dolls, Mommy. I call him Daddy. Oh, so that was you. My daughter talks about you all the time. Um, I don't suppose I could ask your name. Sure, it's uh, Majima. Majima-san, you've done so much for us. I, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, it was nothing, really. This is a little token of my appreciation. Please accept it. You got a security wallet. I appreciate it, lady. Uh, Daddy? I'm sorry. Huh? What's wrong, scamp? I told you I'd take care of the dolls, but please don't be mad at me. Why would I be mad at you? It ain't your fault. Don't even sweat it. But, listen. Even when its eyes coming off and cuts all over, it ain't like it's dead. Its heart's still beating. I can feel it. Really? Yeah. Heck, I'm living proof, ain't I? Take a look. One eye's gone, but I'm doing just fine. <laughs> You're right. When Bunchin's got messed up, you didn't throw it away, right? You're still clutching it close. Looks pretty happy about that, if you ask me. Really? I want to fix him up and keep him safe, then. Yeah, you do that. I, uh, I better get going. Uh, thank you for everything, Majima-san. Thanks, Daddy. Daddy. It's got a nice ring to it. Alright, and with that, we are going to end the episode, because I have no idea how long this episode's been, but I feel like we've... Hold on, we're not going to do something... We're not going to save just yet. Where's it at? Right here. Uh, you got an I Hanita Type A card. Perfect. Now we're going to save. Uh, at save one. And uh, say thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Yakuza Zero. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It'll help me out and help the channel out. And it's going to help you out by telling you when a new episode of Yakuza Zero comes out. Uh, so hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification. Another great way to stay up to date on when an episode of Yakuza 0 comes out is to follow me on Twitter, at the SSH Gaming. I tweet whenever the video goes live. I also pin to the top of my Twitter the upload schedule for the week. I uh, also retweet other general gaming news. I will not fill your Twitter timeline with, with a bunch of nonsense. I don't like social media that much. Uh, if you like this video, uh, hit the thumbs up button. You have no idea how much hitting the thumbs up button uh, helps helps a video and helps a channel whether it be large or small. So if, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please take a moment and go down and hit the thumbs up button. I, I, I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to continue going about town and doing some sub stories because uh, there are sub stories now open. So uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.
Goodbye.